Hello everyone. Today I want to help you with a little tool which is actually a big key to clear confusion when you are interacting with information, especially when it is with a person. So it can be the representation of a person such as a photograph. I will use this white uh, post-it note to represent the support, okay? It can be uh, a physical person you interact with, and that's very easy because you have the auric field and the electromagnetic field that is going to come into play, and that is easier than trying to get an impression from a person with a physical paper photograph or a photograph on screen of a phone or on a computer, in a video, a film, etc. What you can do is just to know this. Our brain is an emitter receptor of scalar waves. These waves are emitted when there is an object with an electromagnetic field that will pulse regarding to the frequency. It will pulse scalar waves at a certain range, certain equation of frequencies into the ether. And you, your brain, is biologically a receptor as well of these scalar waves. So when your brain receives the signal of a person, what emits a person, the brain is going to receive it, decode it. Now many things come into play. You know quantum physics. It's a law of resonance. Okay. So when you have a support, such as a photograph, or even a name of a thought of a person. You enter in resonance with the person, okay? That is why in magic traditions, we do not give the name, our name, when we are not sure, okay? Because when you connect to a name of a person, you connect to its frequency, vibration, and the person by itself, because names are resonance as well. But when you associate a name, for instance, I don't know, Valerie or Mary, Valerie, for instance, uh, Valerie is a very common name. When you apply this name, Valerie, to the image and the thought of a person you know that bears this name, you will call upon the person. You will like ring a phone number and what will answer is the vibration of the person it's life their life vibration the auric field their mental field their conscious field everything that is about them that sends out signal into the ether where i want to come uh, talking about this is how to capture this connection and how to decrypt this connection to decrypt the aura of the person the, the not only the aura but the frequency of this person what does this frequency um tells okay tell so how to do that i will give you a simple example and uh, you will understand better Practice is always the better way, best way to understand how things work. Okay, so it's quantum physics. Now, you take a photograph of a person, for instance. You want to have a, an objective insight of how this person is at the moment what this person imprinted in this photograph or how it is at the moment because you connect to its quantumly to its field 
Of course, you must be in a non-emotional state. And to be in a non-emotional state, not to allow your brain to interfere with thoughts and things you heard about this person, there's a trick. It needs to happen at the moment of the contact. When I do this, I close my eyes. For instance, someone says, often it happens. People say, oh, what do you think about this person? So I say, oh, pop, 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 I don't want to see the photo yet. I relax. I open my eyes, my eye, final gland, my, my vision, my heart. I'm receptive. I put myself in a state of receptiveness. And then I take the photo. I open my eyes, tuck, it happens. At the second, my brain connects with the scalar waves of point B, photo of the other person. That's at the moment the connection happens. It's a millifraction of second. That's when it happens. You connect to the frequency of the person. And at that moment, the mind hasn't the time yet to imprint a judgment or to alter the, the feeling, the perception. That's what you want. You don't want your mind. People have said that about this person in good or bad. You know, you don't want that. That's, that's going to alter the perception you have of this person. What I want you to do is, what I suggest you to do is close your eyes, you're neutral, and then contact, boom. And that's it, the few seconds. And try to get it, la make it last at least a few seconds. But you will have grasped it. Because after a few seconds, after maybe a second, maybe after half a second, the mind comes in and says, oh, yes, but you may be wrong because this person told this about this person and you know that this did, 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 did. Go away. What did I feel in the first nanosecond when I connected? What the impulse the impulse don't lie, but the impulse said. Any impression you had, even if it's contradictory with what you usually think about this person, if you know the person, um, the first impulse, the connection, that's the right one. You know how we say intuition is, is right from the, from the first start, second. That's true, because your brain receives the scalar waves quantumly from point A, from point A to point B. Too. And that moment is the right one. Okay? So when you don't know the person, it's even better, because you don't have any judgment. So you can make it last longer and as long as you want, um, you know, and oh, and see the life of this person and do divination even on this person because the brain doesn't come into play to alter what you perceive. That's it. That is an interesting exercise so you can train and um, you can train with photo of family members. That's very difficult because the more you know the person, the more your mind, your, your brain, your mind, not the brain, the mind is going to try to <laughs> interfere. Oh, yes, but this person lied to you 10 years ago. So it's not, you know, but, but, but. what happened in the first impulse. That's where it is. That's the singularity of the connection. Okay. So that's a, um, a key I give you, and I hope you train with that, that that trains you to put aside the judgmental mind and just focus on the physics of receptivity between your natural ability of your brain 
and the scalar wave that it receives first impulse. That's what matters. Eternity concentrate in one millisecond. And it's a door. It's a portal. In a millisecond, you can go through this stargate and connect to anything you want to connect with. Impulse. That's what generates the connection. Enjoy. Don't forget to laugh today. And um, <laughs> talk to you soon. <laughs>